Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And look, coronavirus is the word right now, right? My two cents on the whole thing. Uh, make sure you wash your hands, clean up. Uh, I'm washing my hands and my people in my family are washing their hands uh, just more than normal. And uh, here in my, my area of North Carolina, I can't speak for all of North Carolina, but my area, uh, we, we really have not had to deal with it. So uh, if you are in one of those spots that are dealing with it, um, uh, we're praying for you. I'll let you know that. Uh, uh, number two is be safe, use, use common sense, clean up extra, wipe things down, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe try to stay away from big crowds. I'm sure you've heard all this on the news. It's nothing new. Uh, but one thing I do want you to know that might be new is in the Bible, uh, the word fear is used a lot in God's word. And one thing that sticks out to me when the word fear is used is when it has the word not behind it. God said to fear not. Fear not. And that's the way I choose to live my life because I'm a child of the King. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the God that created this massive world. And I know that He provides for the birds in the air. I know He's going to provide for me and my home. So does that mean I won't get sick? I don't know. I, I will do my part to be diligent and use wisdom in, in trying to be overly cautious about staying clean and washing up and maybe avoid big crowds. And uh, like any other thing, I'm, I'm sure this will pass. I know I'm not a doctor. I don't know medical facts about it or nothing like that. but. I do see it as an issue and I'm sure it's going to pass, but I want to encourage you, fear not and trust in the Lord and he will see you, me, and everybody right through this. Now I'm getting ready to mow my yard again. I'm trying to stay on top of it, keeping it at two inches. Yeah, I preached in the past, cut it high, and if you, if you follow me for tall fescue, I want you to keep doing that. Four inches, four and a half in the summer. But my outlet reel mower should be here probably into this week. And uh, as part of that, the mower only mows about 2.36 inches or something like that, a little over two inches. That's as high as it'll go. I'm going to attempt to reel mow my tall fescue yard all year, just simply to see if I can do it. And I'm having to keep the height cut down. So I'm, I'm push mowing it today because I don't want any type of stripes in the yard for my first Allet mower video, because you know how that thing stripes up, it's gonna be like, whoa, check that out. So um, I'm trying to keep the striping under control until I get my Allet. Now I've gotten many, many, many emails about this Y Bravo mower. Do I like it? Yeah, I absolutely love it. Uh, we got four of them that we use at work. I've got one right here. The guys use them day in and day out. They've been, uh, uh, they take care of my equipment, but at the same time, time you know when you use it commercially day in and day out they get a little beat up and we've had zero issues with them to this day now i called these boys and said hey let's work out a deal right here and let's see if we can't uh, offer them to the folks that watch my videos so what i did i come up with a deal between me and brian and uh if you want one of these mowers here's the deal so in the description I'm going to put the instructions. It has some pricing, how much they cost. Uh, and remember, this is a full-blown commercial mower. Okay, this isn't a go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy those mowers. Nothing wrong with those. But this is a full-blown commercial mower that will last a DIY guy for years and years and years. And a pro guy will get years of use out of it as well. So with that said, you'll see the pricing and you'll see an email down there. That's the only way they want to do it. So they can track you. So you want to email Brian. Now there's a link in the description. Okay. Now that's a link to find out where the nearest dealer is. The Y Bravo dealer to you. If they're within 90 miles, you go to the Y Bravo dealer and purchase it. Okay. If they're not within... 90 miles then you can email brian directly and purchase it either way i worked it out where you get a free discharge chute 
The discharge chute is the little part that hangs off the back. Okay, now I really like this because I don't bag my yard all the time. Yes, when I do the Allet way of mowing, uh, I am going to be doing that, but until then I'm not. So I discharge my clippings, it throws it out the side. Of course, they come with a mulch plug that you put in the back so you can mulch if you want, or it comes with the bagger. So you can bag it, mulch it, or side discharge. So the discharge chute comes with a mower, if, if you get it through me like that. And then number two, you also uh, will send you either my cool season uh, lawn care guide or my warm season lawn care guide. You get to pick between the two. Now, I am getting a little bit of money off this myself, 50 bucks, okay? And here's what I wanna do with that $50. If you buy it, instead of me getting the money, I'm gonna donate it to the Team Jacks Foundation. That's for all of uh, 2020, this entire year. Of course, that goes along with the Amazon. Anytime you see an Amazon affiliate link in my description, all that money goes to the foundation. And we take that money and go to Philadelphia when my son has surgery, and we give it to families that have children like my son. Medical bills are outrageous, especially when you're dealing with a, uh, uh, a special needs type disability and there's multiple, multiple surgeries. Uh, medical bills and travel can be very expensive. Uh, but God has blessed us to be able to handle that on our own, but fam other families can't do that. And so it's just one way that we can honor God with our money and we can just kind of give back to those who have helped us up to the hospital uh, by helping these families get there and get their kids treated like they need to be. So hey, all that'll be in the description and uh, I'm gonna get with it and get the mowing. We'll show a little bit of that and you can see how the mower operates. Uh, it's super simple. Uh, you can either pull that, this bottom handle that propels the mower. It's got two speeds, a high and a low, and it got a neutral in case you wanna push it around and then click this over and pull the bail back and that turns the blades on so yes it will go it will self propel itself without the blades being on or with the blades being on it will cut super low or goes up to four and a half inches so uh it's a pretty versatile little mower kawasaki i've never had any issues with power with it it's always cut very strong uh, it's balanced pretty good. Um, I mean, it's a very solid, very rugged mower. And uh, again, I've had zero issues with mine. Uh, with, uh, the guys have had zero issues with theirs. I think one time, I think we had to replace a cable somewhere uh, because something happened down here and something got out of whack and we had to replace a cable on it. But other than that, we've had zero issues with it. So there you go, another mow in the books, uh, 17,000 square feet. Takes me about 28 to 32 minutes roughly to mow it all with uh, the Y Bravo. And yeah, I'm still trying to get used to this short cut. It's two inches, so it's, it's really short. <laughs> and that's uh, it's totally completely new game for me, so I'm kind of making myself do this. And again, if I screw something up throughout the year, uh, I can easily rebound the yard with no problem. But I just, I want to learn my turf. This is my own grass seed. I want to learn it and see how it will handle a uh, shortcut throughout an entire growing season. So hey, again, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day. I'll put the details on this in the description. You can check it out if you want. If not, that's cool too. Uh, remember, keep those hands clean and be safe, and I'll check you later.